Hello everyone and welcome back to Kenji and to Avak, Ruka and Hobbs. Now I've received quite a lot of really, really useful uh, advice in the comments on our first episode and I will be taking uh, that forward. Some of the best advice that I've received was on just general mechanics and certain pitfalls. Um, one of the big ones that I was really, really thankful for was to avoid using the fastest game speed mode where possible because sometimes it can introduce um, kind of glitches. I will be taking that forward. Apparently this one is fine, but when the game is running at its fastest speed, especially when you've got a much bigger squad, apparently that can cause some instability. So I'll be uh, definitely keeping that in mind. I also received a, a fair bit of uh, feedback on the dark UI. Now, currently I'm still in favor of it, but uh, one or two things really stood out as not being the best. Now, right now, all of this looks great, but there were some things, yeah, that, that dark on dark, that black on dark gray, oh, that's a bit rough. That is really not particularly nice. I may switch it just for that back to the uh, the base uh, UI mode. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I this, The jury is still out, let's say. But one of the other bits of advice I received was, generally speaking, maybe not the best uh, weapons to use, these big heavy sabers. I, I don't know. I kind of like having the option to use them. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Definitely smaller, faster weapons would be better for the group, though. So that is definitely something we, we might switch out. Uh, for example, uh, Ruka's weapon, apparently, despite the fact that she starts with it, not exactly the best option for her. Uh, we'll see. Hobbs, could you get back to work for now? For the time being. Now, Ruka, you don't actually have any particular jobs at the moment so uh, we're probably going to need to uh, work on that are we actually even trying to research things we're not currently is there anything i really want to check out do we have um gear store well no, no that's not quite what i wanted to do um what what does gear storage do now if we've paid for that if that was a cost in books uh you notice it says paid we didn't actually pay anything for that one but you would if you've used the books up and you cancel off the queue, you've already paid for it, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, storage boxes, storage stones, storage building materials. I mean, that would be useful, but it's not really something I'm too worried about right now. Uh, okay, so currently you're hauling to the campfire and also hauling to food storage. I received quite a lot of advice on not using up all my meat for that. I mean, the meat that we've already done, uh, it's too late about that one. Uh, but I will be bearing that in mind in future. Uh, Ruka, what jobs do we want to give you? Let's have a proper look at your stats. Field medic, you get a minus one on that one. Wow, okay. Well, hopefully you can work that one up. Crossbow smith, cooking, you actually got something cooking, that's pretty cool. Athletics is not too bad. Uh, melee defense, melee attack, you're by far our best fighter by far and away the best fighter that we have. Uh, strength is okay. Dexterity is reasonable. Perception is, is quite good. It affects uh, shooting. Uh, okay, so Ruka, for now, I think you and Hobbs are going to primarily work the copper mines. So let's get you down there. There you go. And you can head up. But before you do, before you go, I want to do a little bit of trading with you. Uh, actually, if I open this up, I should be able to just shunt this across. Bump, there we go. Ruka now has the backpack. Furthermore, before Ruka actually gets out there, since Ruka is going to be down there, that's, uh, oops, that is not what I want. <laughs> Avak went ahead and uh, continued to prioritize trading. I want Ruka to take a bunch of meat with her. Uh, I'm gonna have that in your backpack. Um, let's take three meat. Now, this backpack doesn't stack it, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Ruka will then have that meat with her when she's out and about, while she's down there mining. So, uh, hopefully, Hobbs will will uh, take that food out of the backpack and they won't have to return. And I'll just have to keep an eye on Ruka and top that up where necessary. Now, have we got much in the way of stones? We do. Let's uh, go ahead and sell these with Avax straight away then. Uh, we will largely be running on the higher uh, speed, uh, but I'm not going to pump it up all the way to the top speed, as mentioned. 
Right, let's have a look at what we can sell in here. First, let's get rid of all of this. We've got some books that we could grab, even some more meat if we particularly wanted to. Um, we're a little ways off being able to... Well, actually, no, we could afford some of these bows. Now, prototype is a worse level than uh, shoddy, so that's definitely worth bearing in mind. Uh, we've got some more med kits, um, some more blueprints that are not particularly super useful for us. Roof decorations aren't a terrible one. Um, I don't believe that these can actually work. Maybe they do. We need a research bench too to, to unlock that. So that's probably what we're going to be looking to get to is a research bench too. Regardless, having more books is always going to be useful for us. So I'm going to grab as much of that as I can straight away and we're going to go and drop those in the research bench and have a look at what we want to research next. So let's go ahead, pop all of these in. We can use this as a general storage. A lot of people pointed that out. Uh, I wasn't aware of that because, uh, for example, with the, the food bin, I can't put anything other than food in there. I can't even put raw meat in here from what I understand. It has to be prepared food. Um, but the research bench is, is apparently a general storage, so we can put whatever we want in there. And that is actually pretty good. Now, uh, we don't really care for these. Uh, we're not going to be looking at what we're going to need to make our own base just yet. Uh, I don't think. Gear storage is, is possibly tech level 2. Requirement, small house. I need to know how to do this to build a research bench too. Okay, well, we'll uh, research a small house. And then we're going to need some more books after that. Right here. Well, in the meantime then, we've got uh, a bit of things that we can do. With Avak, we can have a look at a sh small shack, or we can have a look at a storm house. We've got a... What's the difference here? This one is cheaper. Is this one more bust up, perhaps? That's a possibility. We've also got other ones. This one would be 6k, this is 4.8, but this one looks significantly bigger. And then we've got this one over at 10.5k. I mean, that is gigantic. If we bought this house, we probably wouldn't need any other housing here. Mind you, that one for only 2k more, and it looks absolutely ginormous. Uh, do we have any examples of what these houses look like normally? I also received uh, a fair bit of advice that I could, in fact, uh, sign up with uh, these guys over here. Um, the Shinobi Thieves. I'm not sure I'm actually going to be going that route. Uh, I, I want to kind of strike it out on my own. Uh, we will see, though. But uh, I'm not sure we're going to be doing that one anytime soon. Are you a problem? Possibly not. Well, for now, I need some money. So I'm going to let uh, Avak actually help out with a bit of mining down here. So let's go ahead and pop that in. We're going to go and uh, mine that iron resource for a little bit once Avak is finished with science. And then we'll see where things go. We're going to get a bit of money together. I want to finish off this training dummy if we can, and then get some cats together so we can perhaps buy a bigger house. And then we'll uh, possibly head out and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, adventuring, check out some of the other places that we have uh, noticed, the tiny settlement over here at the very least. Or maybe just go and squint and maybe pick up some maps. We'll see. But that will be in a few moments. Ooh, looks like something interesting is happening over here. I was just popping over to see if I could pick up some iron plates to work on the dummy, and it appears that we have some sort of uh, conflict happening out here. Let's have a look at you. You are an escaped servant, and you are fighting against hungry bandits. Okay, very interesting. The escaped servants, wow, they've actually got pretty good uh, stats, to be honest. Uh, okay, well, what was going on in here? I think there was another fight taking place in here as well. Uh, we've got, by the looks of it, uh, a hungry bandit down here. Very well, you were committing a crime and therefore it should be okay for me to just take everything you own. Marvelous. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, completely murderize you or anything like that. I, it serves me no purpose, but I will take all of your stuff and then promptly sell it. Ah, uh, good times. Very good times. I think I actually put on some of the armor that you had. Yeah, now I've got uh, some chest armor. Yeah, they're not so bad. Not so bad. Defense bonus, indoors bonus. Um, sure, I'll keep that as, uh, as some help. We've got a bunch of iron plates over here. Have we got anything else that we need? Uh, nope, nope, nope. 
I, I definitely think that uh, adding all of these extra um, blueprints has kind of worked against me in a way. Uh, we could grab some meat on the way back, actually. Are you, how are you doing hunger-wise? Uh, sure, we've got enough cats for it. It's not going to be an issue. Uh, ate some dried meat. Oh, wow, you're, you're just cutting them out. Hmm, if I'd realized that was going to be the case, I would have perhaps gotten some more people. Okay, you know what, Ruka? How about you head over here? Uh, in fact, you can just then sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, Hobbs. Yeah, we, so everyone's carrying things, which is a little bit unfortunate. I need Hobbs back at base. So we're going to head on over. Get our back back here. And uh, Hobbs can immediately pop in as well. I'll, I'll turn Hobbs' job off for now. Let's get Hobbs in here. Ruka, rather than you run all the way there carrying a load of weight... I would actually prefer it if you would instead sell all of this. I know, I know, it's strength training, but... Oh, really? And now you've got this there? Well, that's just... That's just, uh... Scallywaggery, really. Um... Godless Katana. That might not be a bad weapon. Nice fast weapon. Do we have enough cats for it? We do. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's grab you. Uh, I may... I may yet sell... Ruka's weapon, uh, her big chopper, or, or store it somewhere. I'm not sure yet, but that's going to be something we do. In that's a, a future decision, not not one for just yet. Where's Abak? Abak is on the way. Uh, here and there, I've been having them be stealthy or, or try to be stealthy. I think Abak's um, stealth skill has gone up while just walking around, but there's not been that much walking around to make it particularly useful. Uh, right, let's go ahead, get all of these traded across. Um, is this better than the one you've got? No. Well, actually, uh, Solivorm, Hungry Bandit, uh, we'll just have Avax sell that one. But, Hobbs, you can now turn your jobs back on, and you should immediately build our training dummy. Oh, that's going to be grand. going to be super, super good. Uh, let's pop in here. Let's have a quick uh, chat and see... If I can't get rid of this, there we go. And I don't really have much in the way of money to buy any more books, which is a bit of a shame. Do we have any copper? No, we don't. Uh, okay, well, we need a couple more books, at the very least, before we do anything else. I guess I could have Avak help out down here for now. Well, actually, no. Uh, looking at this, we're, pro we're going to have that finished before too long. So instead, Avak, help head out and help Ruka. And whilst you're heading over, Ruka, we'll have you start gathering. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get. We may even end up with a couple of upgrades to our own loot, which would be fantastic. I'm, I'm going to nab everything I see. Who we got over there? It is the escaped uh, servants. Well, we don't want to mess with you. Well done on escaping, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, don't, don't want anything to do with you just yet. We want to grab... All of the loot that we can get. Ooh. Hello, Hungry Bandit. Ruka has got a backpack full of food. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, let's uh, head inside. Probably a wise move, that one. Hello. Uh, we just looted those people out there. Uh, it's not going to go well for us. Uh, right, Ruka, let me have a look at your gear. So, is any of this actually good at all? It's just cloth. It's just cloth. That's fine. In terms of your... Pants, though, you've got... Yeah, it's really no better than anything else where, where uh, we've got equipped. So let's just go ahead and sell all of this off. It, none of it is at all valuable to us. Your weapons, though... Uh, that one's the worst one. I'm, again, still undecided. How about you? You've got one that is... Oh, you've got a, got a, a worse one. Okay, so let's hand that over to Avak. Avak can equip this one and then sell that to the shopkeeper here. Uh, we will want to get... Oh, man, the, the price with those is actually pretty awful. Uh, really, really quite nasty, that one. Uh, okay, let's head out with you two and continue looting. Is there anyone else... Available for us to loot. There should be quite a few. And I did notice there was at least one who seemed to be some sort of bandit leader. Have they gotten up and wandered off, maybe? It seems they might have. 
That's a bit of a shame. Uh, they may have had some decent gear on them. Being bandit leaders, the, a lot of the early game equipment we're likely going to upgrade to is more likely to be pilfered from uh, probably fallen enemies, honestly, rather than, than people who just, you know, uh, were out and about and got into a fight. That being said, you know, I'm not going to turn it down when it happens. That would be rather silly. There we go. There we are. Any other corpses that are here? Yeah, one or two more. I mean, it's an easy way of getting some cash and also an easy way to upgrade some of our items. That one's not so bad. So this one's going to be a sale item. This one we might take back. Hobbs, what's yours like? No, we've all got the best ones that we can have right now. Okay, well, that's fine. Once again, not a bad little uh, little opportunity to make some cats. Uh, let's head back indoors. And we can get rid of all of this before heading back out. I really, really do want to get uh, a couple more books. One of the things I want to build is a cook stove. Uh, quite a few people suggested, as I mentioned at the beginning, that having dried meat is not particularly nutrition efficient, and that if I just build a, a cook stove or something like that, then I can, I can make my own food. I will still have to buy a lot of the supplies for it, but it shouldn't be too bad. I may just keep this one. I don't know. Uh, that being said, uh, we've seen a lot of hungry bandits, and there's probably going to be ample opportunity for me to loot more of them as time goes on. Uh, that takes us up to 370 cats. Uh, we didn't get much from that at all. Still, it was uh, an interesting opportunity all the same. Got another group just out there with a hungry bandit still. Mm, okay. Well, we're going to sneak our way back, I think. Uh, we'll get all the way back over to the hub. And on our way, we'll probably train up a little bit. Uh, let's actually have a look at how fast it's going. It's going up reasonably quickly. What about... Luca, you've got a racial XP bonus. So you're only getting 0.8 out of every one potential XP that you would gather. Your athletics are fairly low still. That being said, Avax aren't anything to uh, write home about. Hobbs is doing okay. Uh, but definitely, Ruka and Hobbs are, are the uh, heavy hitters. Hobbs particularly has uh, some decent... Um, Toughness, or, well, I mean, it's probably not decent at all when you think about it. But certainly, it's higher than everything else. Uh, right, Ruka, once we get back, you can just go ahead and continue your jobs, honestly. And, in fact, yeah, I'm going to have you continue to sneak. And we're going to head back, uh, and just to speed this along, I'm going to have Avax stop sneaking. Let's uh, head back up here. Now, I'm not sure whether we'll make use of sneaking. I, I, there were definitely quite a few... Uh, uh, bits of advice in the comments that it's super easy to steal and, and go the uh, go the the rogue lifestyle and make a lot of early money like that. I'm not sure that that's uh, that's a place that I'm, I'm going to be uh, taking part in. Uh, not for any particular moral reason, just because uh, I might like to see how I can build up without having to resort to that. Uh, right now for cooking, there we go. Let's get that on the go. Once Abak has nothing else to do, though, I would actually like you. To use the training dummy. Now this training dummy can take a, a skill up to five. Uh, so melee attack, yeah, Ava can get a little bit. But neither Hobbs nor Ruka can really benefit from that at all. But it'll be useful to have if we have anyone else with particularly low skills. Uh, so I'm going to pass a little bit of time here. Get Avak to uh, unlock the uh, cooking, uh, the cooking stove, which will allow us to make rice bowls and cooked vegetables. Uh, maybe we can actually upgrade that a little bit, bit beyond that then, I'm not really sure. Uh, I could build a stone mine or something. No, I don't think so. What we'll likely do then is we'll probably head out for a little bit of a wander and visit some other areas. So I shall bring you back when we're ready to do that. Welcome back. I was just on my way back from the uh, Iron Node with Avak. Uh, it's day six, uh, just past midday, and we've been slowly building up our caps. And I noticed that uh, someone got smacked in the head for a lot of damage. What do we find when we arrive? But, uh, ex-servants, escaped servants, and holy citizens. Hmm. Most curious indeed. Now, that is an interesting... Oh, would this be considered proper theft then? 
wonder. Let's let's have a look at what they've got. If nothing else, they've got a ninja blade. I, I'd have a 100% chance of swiping this. Uh, they've also got fog masks. This has 35 points of harpoon resistance, cut resistance. It's considered light armor. Some blunt resistance, dust storms, and gas has 100% protection. That's actually really good. A breathing mask that helps mitigate the negative health effects of fog. Uh, they've also got some shoddy grade cloth um, armor. It's not really uh, very different from what I'm already wearing. It, we could sell it for 26 though. Uh, yeah, it is pretty much exactly the same. Okay, what about the pants? Uh, again, much the same. You've got a shirt though, and a shirt that I don't have. This is light armor. So yes, I think we're definitely going to be picking this. Up. Wow, that's that's got a uh, sale value of 312 caps. That's actually pretty amazing. Yeah, we're going to grab that then. We're also obviously going to take the blade, and we're going to grab the fog mask. That is going to be very interesting. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's have a, a zoom in here. Okay, that isn't as silly as I thought it was. I thought it was like some sort of crazy full face thing. Uh, okay, look, Hobbs, Ruka, head on over. Let's not uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. I back move so slow. So slow lab uh, when he's laboring beneath the burden of ridiculous amounts of iron that he's carrying around. Hello, show me your kids. How much of a chance? I, I'd have no problem selling that if I wanted to. Okay, very good to know. Uh, let's have a good look at this, though. So, cutting damage 0.4. That's better than the, the Saber already. Uh, has no blood damage, that's fine. Better bleeding. The Saber has better defense, whereas this has a defense ne uh, malice. No good against robots, but pretty good against humans. Um... No, I think we're going to be going for that one, and we're going to sell the saber off. Okay, let's uh, head down here. Let's have a look at uh, what Avak looks like right now. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We're going to pause this there for a moment. Uh, Hobbs, are you carrying much? Uh, you kind of always are, actually. Ruka, you are not. So go ahead, and let's have a look at what we can grab. We are going to grab everything. Uh, you are in a recovery coma. You're going to wake up without any of your loot. Uh, alas, for you. You're also in a recovery coma. You're going to wake up without any of your loot. Look, it's a harsh it's a harsh world, okay? It's amazing that we're not just trying to run around stealing everything off shelves. I'm not going to pass this up, though. Uh, uh, it's just it's just a white vest. You know what I mean? You're just a citizen. You just got caught in the wrong place at the wrong... You know, you're not going to get have all of your stuff taken. I hope you recover. Are you recovering? You're in a recovery coma. You'll eventually recover. Yeah, I, look, okay? We have some morals. I'm just going to randomly... It's a rough world, but we don't need to make it that rough. At any rate, though, let's go and have a quick uh, chat, shall we? I think we should. Uh, are these any better? No, they're, they're no better than what we're currently wearing. So they can all go. How about this? Uh... No, that's no better. Okay, so only Avak really got much of an upgrade there at all. But still, it was, a, it was quite a welcomed upgrade. I feel a little bit bad for having taken Hobbs off his job for that. But, uh, oh well. See, we'd have to buy that for so much. It just doesn't make it worth our while. Not even slightly. Okay, Hobbs. Uh, you can head back to your job. Now, we've got 4,700 caps at this point. That's not a small amount. Not even slightly. Rookie, you can head back to your job as well. Uh, Avak, though, with your funky new gear. So, we are basically impervious to the effects of fog, and also the impervious to the effects of dust storms. Uh, occasionally, dust storms roll past, and uh, we are notified that we have no protection against these storms, and it kind of sucks. But, on the whole, it's not actually that, that big uh, of a... Uh, sorry, uh, it, it could be a big issue in combat. I'm not really sure what that would affect. I'll, I'll have the mouse over it the next time it happens. But we've got enough caps now. We wanted to purchase one of these stores. Maybe we do. How much copper have we got? We've got 25 copper. Okay, we've got enough to purchase a lot of things. Okay, this is good times. Let's get in here. Sell off a bunch of this copper. Let's have a quick chat with you, my friend. 
Uh, let's get rid of all of this. And if we're fortunate, we might still be able to just drag it all from here. I think we can. Uh, can we? Nope. Got to drag it down here. There we are. Oh, yes. 8,000 caps. Well, that's definitely uh, something we can play around with. Now, if I want to get a second uh, tier research bench, we're going to have to have a look into getting a larger location. The research bench, too, I don't even think it would fit in here at all. So the question is, do we want to go for the cheapest building that we can fit it into? Or do we want to hold out and get a really big building? Do we really want to settle here? Is basically what that question comes down to. And I'm not sure we do. I'm not sure that our intentions are to settle in this place. So I'm going to go for one of the cheaper buildings. Uh, just so that we can get some more research done. If nothing else, we can research up to and including some defensive structures. So that when we do head out, then we'll ha be able to uh, build up properly. So, okay, we're going to spend 4,800 caps on buying... Of this building. There we are. Get out. Go on. And then, I would like this to be repaired. Now, what is it going to involve? It's going to involve uh, 10 building materials. But Hobbs is already on his way. Hobbs has the job to take care of that. Let's get you in there instead. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have uh, Avak help out down there instead. And we'll take off the iron resource. There we go. Right, Hobbs, need you to buy yourself some building supplies. You got six there. Okay, well, that's not a bad job, actually. Go ahead. Let's get back out there and get this underway. Now, we're obviously going to need a bunch of building materials as well to build the research bench, but that should be fine. I don't think you can sell a building back. I really don't. Uh, it, if you were playing this... Uh, in a very min maxi way, you could just mule all of the copper up until you got enough money to just buy this straight up and then then build what you have in there. But uh, eh, that's that's not the way I'm playing it. Not even close. All right, Hobbs, go back in. We need more building materials. Always more, always more with the building materials. All right, there we go. Grab another three, and then head off to work. And whilst you're there, Ruka. Can I actually upgrade this? No, we flat out have to dismantle this. Some buildings, when you get the upgraded version, you can just upgrade the building itself. But uh, that might only be because there's no way that we could possibly fit that uh, um, device in there. Ooh, what happened? You just woke up. Let's have a look at you. You all right? You are hobbling away. Holy Nation Outlaws. I mean, you don't have a bounty, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with you. You're not actually a citizen. Well, you're a holy citizen, the holy nation outlaws. If I had read that before, I might have taken your stuff. But, ow. You, you got away free. Can, uh, you know, it's divine intervention. Let, let's think of it like that. Uh, how is this going for Hobbs? We only need another four. We probably, well, we almost certainly have the caps for that if we want to. Have you dropped it all in there? Yes, you have. So let's go and grab... The last little bits. We've got one in here that we can grab. Show me your ways. And then I'll just grab that. Then we're going to head over to the other area just as soon as we've added these materials. Uh, which apparently... Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Right, I need you to have a bit of a track over to the other outpost. And hopefully they'll have three building materials. If we do, then we're going to get ourselves the uh, new uh, building up and running fairly quickly. Thankfully, we can carry three building materials. If I thought ahead of time, I would have asked Ruka for her backpack and brought that along. Ooh, who we got in here? Just nomads. Picked a fair day for trekking, traveler. Uh, we did, yes. Uh, right, let's go ahead and have a trade. Oh, me too. That's a bit of a bit of a parch. Bit of a parch. Oh, well. Uh, we have got a Wakazashi. Wow, that's actually got some pretty decent damage on it. Blood loss, 1.2. Armor penetrate doesn't penetrate armor particularly well. It's got a attack bonus, indoor bonus. Hmm. We've also got the Naginata. But that is really expensive. But that has got a 
whopping plus 50% damage against animals. My goodness. How heavy is that? Two kilos. Okay. I would love to get it, but there's no way I can afford it just yet. But uh, that would be an amazing, amazing weapon to pick up. Okay. Well, Hobbs, you head on back and uh, do your work. And by the time we get back, Ruka should have dropped off some more of the copper. And I will bring you... Oh, where are you going, Hobbs? I have no idea. You're gold shopping. Uh, Hobbs is broken. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll help you. Help you find your way. But when you come back, we will have finished our new house. And hopefully be on our way to finishing the Tier 2 research station. So I shall see you soon. Okay, it looks like we've got a group of uh, hungry bandits wandering around. Right now, that's a stealth KO marker. We've got a 40% chance for at least one of my characters to be able to pull that off. And it looks like it's Ruka. All right, I'm liking this. Let's uh, sneak in a little bit. We may end up uh, you know, Mu, the Holy Nation Outlaws. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got the Hungry Bandit over here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch up with them, unfortunately. No, they're moving a little bit too fast. Um, perhaps we can go ahead and just chase them down and provoke a fight, though. Maybe even uh, pull them a little bit closer to the, the town. Still, I wouldn't mind trying to go for a Stealth KO and just see how that goes. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's pause this there. No, Ruka, stop doing your jobs. No, 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 no jobs. All right, Ruka, how about you charge up? There we go. Let's uh, get you a little bit closer. There we are. What are, you what are you doing? Oh, you're trying to get food. Ha! Ah, yeah, my bad. Uh, super bad, uh, in fact. But I want you to sneak, and I want you to go for whoever. Can we... Can we try this? Let's 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 see how this goes. Can you even get in close enough? Uh, let's see. How fast are you moving? You've got an encumbrance of zero. Let's have a look at your actual run speed is sixteen. And how about you? Sixteen. Oh no. Our run speed is super low down actually. Oh, our stealth speed is really bad. Okay. Still, let's see how this goes. Dunk! Ha! <laughs> we did it! <gasps> Ruka! That was fantastic! Uh, you're not considered doing a crime, though. Let, let's, let's hope that's the case. Uh, right, well, since, you know, that's been done, let's just yoink. Oh, no! They spotted me! Well, drat. Got caught stealing. It's fine. It is fine. It's self-preservation. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, right, let's just... Bail back here. We'll have this fight inside. Ruka got walloped in the stomach there, and uh, you kind of had it coming, I'll be perfectly honest. Now, are you coming out to help us or to punish Ruka for being a scallywag? I mean, you know, I kind of accept it either way. <laughs> uh, wow, you just did a huge amount of damage there. Uh, okay. Well, they're bandits. It says so in their title, so I don't have to feel bad. All right, let's get everyone together. We've got a hungry bandit there, attacking enemies. That's fine. Let's all get in there and do the best we can. Uh, I should perhaps have one person stay back. Though. Oh wow, we did reasonably well there. Reasonably well. We actually managed to wallop quite a few people. I've turned on the higher uh, readouts for damage at the moment. Ruka is getting really. Pummeled. 7, minus 0, plus 20, minus 0. So yeah, Ruka is taking quite a bit of a beating there. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to resolve this without her going down. They're all trying to get in and attack this one fella. Would flanking actually help? Wow. You just did a massive wallop. I think Ruka just hit everyone. But oh, that is really a slow weapon. Okay. Yeah, that is a super slow weapon. It's glorious when it hits, but wow, you are not strong enough to do that. All right, let's uh, swap out your weapon set then. Let's have you switch to something a little bit more dexterous, please. Right, everyone's taking a little bit more of a beating here than I'd like. 
Hobbs is down. What's your KO point? Minus 14. Hmm. Why have you already gone down then? Uh, your KO point is 13. I may have Avak bail for now. Just so that we've got someone who can rush back and heal. No, Avak's already down. Damn it. Okay, then. Ruka it is. Ruka, bail out of that if you can. No, we've all just gone down at the same time. I mean, I'm reasonably certain that we're going to be okay thanks to the guards, but uh, now it comes down to... Oh, they're all playing dead. Well, I mean, I suppose that works. Are, are we being healed? Did Avak just heal everyone up? He might be, actually. Okay, they're all going down. Go ahead, Avak. Start healing if you could. Let's have a look at the others. Yeah. Okay, the enemies are all down, so they're all getting back up. On their feet, Avak's going to heal up what he can. And then you can just wander back. Actually, Vruka, you want to go get food. I mean, that's fine. Uh, have we got any really bad wounds? I mean, his stomach got, got mangled there. Process of healing. Your stats will be negatively affected. Well, you know, it was worth it. We got a little bit of combat training. Let's have a look at that, in fact. Uh, if we have... Oh, Ruka is off now. Limping away. Toughness 7. Okay, not bad. Let's have a look at you. Toughness 5, toughness 4. Yeah, we, we did take a beating, but that's one of the main ways that you're going to improve in this game. Uh, go ahead. You can go do your jobs. Uh, actually, Ruka, could you give the backpack to Avak for now? There we go. Thank you very much. We'll get you another weapon at some point. But now for looting. Ah, glorious times are these. There we go. To the winner go the spoils. And let, let's be completely honest with you. Don't, we weren't really the winners, I suppose. I mean, the, an argument could be made that we only got through that because the, uh, the guards helped us out. And you wouldn't be wrong if you were to say that. I'd prefer you didn't, though. But, you know, you wouldn't be wrong. Uh, currently, we're actually equipped with more than one weapon on our back slot. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, let's continue grabbing all of their gear that is of any particular value to us. Uh, there we are. I'll take this as well. Don't want these bandits waking up with the means to hurt us anymore. No, no, no. Not after we basically uh, pulled them into an unprovoked attack. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just pop that there. I uh, don't think... No, we won't have enough room still with this, so I'm going to have to drop that off as well. That's fine, though. Uh, right, continuing to grab the weapons. The weapons seem to be the main thing of worth here. That you sell for 26, 12, whereas these sell for... Well, actually, not that much more, really. Uh, still, I prefer them. So, we can see here we've got a couple more of the higher tier weapons. And that's fine. Let's sort all of that out. Right, let's head off to Sal. That wasn't too bad. It gave us a little bit of training on someone who probably deserved it. Probably. Maybe. Maybe deserved it. Can't be absolutely certain about this. Um, does anyone need to rest up? Ruka, you're actually pretty badly wounded. I could ha pay a couple of caps to have Ruka heal up in here and that may well be worth it because you do seem to be pretty busted up and you're limping quite badly whereas Hobbs is gonna be back on his feet soon actually why am I doing that I've got my own bed I'm a dip I forgot that I had my own bed thankfully I remembered before I spent any money but yeah you know it could have happened uh, actually why don't I just take this off and you should then go and sleep uh, hopefully. Will you go and sleep? No? I've got to tell you to sleep? Very well. Guess I'll put the uh, copper back on there then. I was under the impression that if they had nothing else to do... Ugh. Will you not sleep? Have I got to specifically tell you to? Let's see if that works. Yeah, now I've actually told you to, you should, you should stay there. Okay, just a, a few foibles. Good to know that that's how it works. Now let's do business, sell off all of this junk that we've got. So much junk. Should I sell off Ruka's blade? I mean, we could just buy another plank at some point. There's no particular reason 
to hold on to that. Uh, we'll get rid. Uh, we've got a good amount of caps now. Uh, cats now. We could, if I was so inclined, purchase the Godless Katana. Is that much better than what we've got? It's quite nice, actually. Though that defensive malice is also pretty rubbish. No, I think we're going to continue waiting for some money to flow into the coffers. And then we will get back to building up our new house. But I'm probably going to try to to uh, engage with any combatants that I can see. The dust bandits, hung, uh, starving bandits, that sort of thing. Just, if for no other reason, than to train up our, um, our toughness. Because that seems to be one of the only ways to do it. Hobbs, are you hobbling? No, you're not. Actually, that's pretty impressive. Well done, you. Ah, here we are. We have a dust storm going on right now. And Hobbs, for example, who has no protection from dust storms, is seeing a negative 8 to his attack um, abilities because of weather penalty. Uh, let's have a look. Any other... Where the penalties? No, it does seem to, to just be uh, the effect on combat then. But still, that's pretty impressive, I must say. Uh, we're trying to keep a low profile out here right now because I don't want to be jumped by bandits in a revenge attack. Uh, that being said, we probably have a decent bit of uh, uh, copper up there right now. So I'm going to take Avac back up. We're going to see if we can't sell some of that off. Maybe even by the remaining building materials we need. Uh, let's uh, pop all the way in, turn off your jobs as well so you, it's not too annoying. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's have a visit. Now there's a couple of people in here that we could talk to as well, which might not be a bad move, honestly. Uh, right, looking to buy? Yes, I am, as it happens. Fantastic, we can in fact buy everything that we need. Okay, well, first and foremost, let me sell all of the things that we've got. There you go. We are now somewhat rich. Uh, Hobbs, oh, well, actually, you should be the one to, to do this. So come along up, Hobbs. You can stop sneaking as well. And we will, whilst Hobbs is on his way here, have a look around. Now, we've got Heft, who is a drifter. Tengu, who's a drifter. We've got Senshi, who's a vagrant. Rin, a vagrant. Uh, Stin, a vagrant. We've got the Pacifier for the Hounds. And a wandering assassin of the Shinobi Thieves. Interesting. Uh, we've also got a ninja guard of the trade ninjas. Okay, well, Hobbs, first and foremost, let me go ahead and get that last little bit you need. I think that is all you need, actually. Yes, it is perfect. And while that's happening, let's have Avak have a chat. We're going to start with Heft. I believe that you can recruit drifters. I think the vagrants are probably... Um, what used to be like bar thugs and that sort of thing. Hey, heading out of the city? Need any recruits? Mm, you want to join up? Yeah, but I have a small recruitment fee that needs settling first, see? I need 3,000 cats, traveller. Can you help me out? I'll owe you. Uh, that is fine. We are filthy rich. I'll make it up to you. I'm sure you will. This is going to be grand. Welcome, Heft. Uh, who isn't going to be Heft any longer? Heft, in fact, shall be Miss Minnie. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the channel, Miss Minnie, over on Patreon. Welcome to the team. We are going to more or less keep things as they are, though. If anyone does want me to make any changes, perhaps in the future, I'll have the means to, and we'll see what we can do. Now, we're going to need to get you some clothing. Um, you know what? I like be a gentleman. There you go. There you are, Miss Minnie. Uh, that's at least a small improvement. You've actually got a katana, which is not bad. It is a... Let's see what type of... It's model rusted junk. Uh, okay, manufacturer unknown. We, we, we have no particular information about this. Uh, is this finished? No, Hobbs is still working on it. Fair enough. Uh, let's go and have a quick word with Tengu. I take it you have recruiting? Sure, I'm interested. Good to hear. Here's the deal. I got a warrant out for my arrest. Oh. Uh, help me out. Pay the bounty on my head and I'll owe you big time. Mm, how much? 5,000 cats. Mm. It's all of my money. 
I mean, I could. He absolutely could, and it would be nice to have a bigger group, but that is all of my money. That being said, it isn't too hard to get it. You won't regret it. Please make sure that I don't. Uh, okay. You've got a great walloping massive sword. So, Tengu, let's get you renamed as well. You shall be Manu. There we are. Welcome to the party, Manu. Long may you be alive in it. And the storm house is complete. Oh, this is great, great times. Well, let's have a look at you. Uh, again, you're not a, a bad combatant, alright? You've actually got some decent field medic skills. Um, only Hobbs is a better field medic than you are. You're also not a bad engineer, though Hobbs is vastly a better one. Uh, you've got some decent athletics, melee defense. Uh, Miss Minnie, you're, you're, you're absolute beginner. That's fine, though. That is absolutely fine. We can do something with this, but that is glorious. Right, let's get the group. Let's uh, head over here. You can all uh, just hang out in there for a moment. We want to have a look at what we can do with our new house. Oh, this is going to be grand. It's got an upstairs. How marvelous. All right, we want a research bench too. Can we build this upstairs? We might need to fill it around. Actually, yeah, we could. Now, if I'm correct, I believe a building like this will have anchor points along it where we can build things like turrets and, and uh, well, actually, I think maybe it is only turrets. Uh, so I don't want to necessarily clog that up. So what we'll do instead is we'll see if we can fit this in. Can I make use of the understairs area? That would be grand if I could. I would absolutely approve of it. Is it possible? Can I maybe wiggle you around? No. No, there will be no wiggling here, apparently. Such a sad day. Um, let's just try and get you all squeezed in there. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Now, this is going to require 10 iron plates. My lord. That's an awful lot of iron plates. Uh, did that get confirmed? One would hope it has been. Yes, it has been. Okay, well, I think Hobbs is going to be uh, going on a bit of a bit of a, an adventure to find some iron plates. Given that, then, I guess the first things for you guys is first, let's get you both with a medic um, skill. Uh, let's go and grab some medical supplies for you each. Uh, I think that's probably a wise move. Everyone should have some basic uh, medical supplies. So, there you go. Uh, Manu... That is a reasonable weapon. How heavy is it? Eight kilos, though. Yikes. That is crazy heavy. Um, how much blunt damage is it? It does a lot of cutting damage. This is a lot lighter. Mind you, it would cost us a thousand. We can't afford it. It's just straight up can't afford it. So that's not going to be happening. Fair enough. Right, well, I would like the both of you, from now on, to help out Hobbs down there, please. Uh, have we got any? Or oh, we do not. Okay, so it's going to take us a little bit more time to gather up the materials, but Hobbs is probably going to be heading out shortly to do a fair chunk of uh, buying of iron plates. Ruka, I think you're good. I think you, you don't need to be there anymore, I, I wouldn't say. Uh, you can go out and help out with with uh, with mining. The problem is now we've got too many miners down here. This ore node can only support two people. Hmm. Avak, let's see if you can prospect any other copper nearby. If we head outside and use the prospect ability, uh, this is this is based off science from what I understand, so it's better to have someone who's particularly good at it. Okay, there's a copper node right there, and maybe one down here. This shows underground deposits, but uh, it seems that there's a very good chance that when there is an underground deposit, there will also be a uh, a uh, overground node. There we go. Right, we've got two separate piles of copper being mined. Now, that's actually going to be really, really good for us. Uh, Hobbs, you're still kind of banged up, as is Avak, as it happens. Uh, your right leg is, is a little bit uh, clonked. You know what? Since Avak has the better protection, Hobbs, you head back and have a snooze. 
And Avak will take over the copper node for now. And I will bring it back when we're ready to begin uh, getting the tech bench set up. Oh dear. It looks like Miss Minnie may be in a bit of a pickle right now. As much as I was trying to have my uh, group sneak so they wouldn't be detected, I mean, in broad daylight, there's not much you can do, and she's very, very far away from everyone else. Okay, these are hungry bandits, though, so it's not like the, she's likely to be uh, carted off as a slave. Still, not a great time. Hobbs, you're going to... Honestly, um, well, you've got a bunch of... Just bought a bunch of plates. You can continue with that, but everyone else... We are going over there to help Miss Minnie. There is almost certainly no chance we're gonna gonna get out of this one without without taking quite the pasting. But uh, Miss Minnie, if you can run away, ooh, you're fast. Are you faster than they are? You're running at 16. How fast are they moving? Oh no no no, Miss Minnie, keep going, keep going. How fast are they moving currently? Oh, only 14. Ooh. This may work to our advantage once again. Ah, oh, fantastic. More opportunity to train toughness. Quick, everyone draw back. Miss Minnie, keep going. We'll pull them back all the way to the gate. And then we'll fight them there. All right, Hobbs, how's everything going over there? Have you dropped off all of the building materials? You have. Okay, that means you can come and join us as well, then. Let's get you all down here. Rooker, have you stopped your drops? Good. Yeah, everyone seems to be okay. Is anyone carry? Oh, actually... Luca's carrying a load of... Gab oh, right. Hobbs decided to stop adding all the building materials. That's not so great. Um, you carry on doing that, then. Ruka, can you drop these off? Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's still uh, a better situation. All right, then. As soon as Miss Minnie arrives, we're going to have a bit of a fight on our hands. Let's get into position here. A couple of people have gone down here and there to bone dogs and the like. Uh, have we got... How's our medical supplies looking? Oh, not so great, actually. Um, Hobbs, you stay out of this fight for now. Right, Miss Minnie, need you over here. Let's get you in. Now, I would like people... Well, if we draw them back just a little bit more, we'll have a little bit better protection. Keep falling back to about here. We've got the uh, ninjas moving in. The trade ninjas, that is. There they go, they have engaged. Right, now, do we will we get a benefit from attacking all at once? I've not been able to tell. It does seem that people just kind of take turns fighting, which is not so bad, I suppose. Miss Minnie's already down? Wow! Got smacked in the stomach. That is not so great. Not so great at all. I could have you... Yeah, you've, you've decided to engage. Are you carrying a load of stuff still? Yeah, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, but what I would like you to do is, for the time being, rescue Miss Minnie. Could you take care of that for me whilst I'm passive? Let's keep a close eye on this. It seems to be not going terribly. I'm seeing uh, Avak blocking a lot of attacks, and that was a solid blow there. Manu is doing amazingly. Ruka is doing pretty good. Avak just took a smack to the stomach and Ruka to the chest. And another to the chest. Yeah. Uh, could you possibly put Miss Minnie in bed? I was hoping that you would automatically do that, but apparently no. Let's quickly get Miss Minnie down there. And then you can uh, give her some first aid as well. Can you... No. Has she been tent? Oh, you've already tended to her. That's that's fine then. That's actually pretty good. All right, at this point you can join in the fight. You can help out Manu. Avak has gone down, unfortunately. Ruka is doing pretty good. How is that, Avak? Eh, blow to the stomach. Pretty hefty blow to the stomach as well. Uh, still, this shouldn't be so bad. Well done there, Hobbs. You managed to take one of them down, but you're getting walloped here. Ruka is really holding her own, though. It's going really well. Wow, look at those numbers. So many big numbers. Hobbs just annihilated them. Let's have a look at your stats again. You've got a tack of eight. Cur uh, currently, that's low because of the weather penalty. But your equipment is giving you a bonus. And again, let's have a look at your equipment. Armor penetration. Massive armor penetration. And out humans counters as animals. 
Uh, I mean, technically they should, but alas. Uh, Ruka's coming in. We're ganging up on them now. You're gonna go down. Well done, everyone. There we go. Right, uh, if you could... Oh, <laughs> he's trying to crawl away. No! No to you crawling away, you scallywag. Uh, Ruka, let's have a look at you. You... Pretty... Pretty solid. I'm really, really impressed. Uh, Abak has already been tended to. Hobbs, if you could... Uh, pick Abak up. Do not move. Uh, there we go. And pop him into bed so he can recover a little bit faster. That was really good. Let's have a look at people's stats. Because Miss Minnie and Manu will have had no particular... Especially Miss Minnie, no particular combat training. You know, got a defense up to two. Toughness up to two. Eh, it's not terrible. Um, Manu, you were already kind of good. So it's not as big of a, a benefit for you. Still, that was not a bad little fight there. Uh, Ruka, can we get this off, off, uh, I guess we can. Okay, well, Manu, in that case, I'm going to turn your, your jobs back on, but I would actually like you to work this copper node if it's available to you. Actually, let's just get rid of both of them. Work this copper node, then work this copper node if that one is not available. Where is it? Where is that other copper node? There we go. There we are. So the, you'll tend to be closer to the town. If possible. Uh, Ruka, let's get to looting then, I suppose. Uh, I can pause it more often than not. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned in the comments, if you don't pause, you know, the time is still progressing. Sometimes I just like time to progress when I'm, I'm just doing little things that don't seem particularly time critical. Are there any leaders here? I'm not seeing any leaders. Uh, following leader. So there must be one. They indoors, perhaps? I'm not sure. Uh, oh well. We'll just start at the start then. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to loot them all. And if we find anything particularly interesting, I shall bring you back for it. Or I'll just let you know how much money we got. It seems that on our trip over to see if we can pick up some more iron plates, we have found some more scallywags having a bit of a fight. Oh, a fisticuffs this time. Interesting. Uh, well, you know, to, we're not going to pass up the opportunity. I don't think they're going to mind if we uh, quickly just nab their gear. All of the weapons from the uh, fight with the Hungry Bandits netted us about 400 cats. We kept a couple of the weapons, though, and as a result, everyone now has a secondary weapon as well. Ooh, a couple of bandits in here. I approve. I approve enormously. Uh, let's move that one down. There we go. We can just straight away sell these, or I would like to be able to sell them. Are you the... Where's the trader? Hmm. Oh, it was you, and you were only... Uh, you only trade if uh, you're in the, the shop. That's actually pretty cool. I love how the guards are, are just cleaning up after the fight as well. That's actually really, really awesome. All right, let's have a look. You've got one. Well, that's not exactly what I was hoping for, I'll be honest. Uh, heavy pole arm. It's still only three kilos. Armor penetration, damage versus animals. I mean, it's really nice. I might grab this and give it to one of the others. Yes, it's 3,000, but we're actually not doing too badly for... Are you going to be wielding two of the... Oh my lord, that looks so badass. <laughs> so ridiculously impractical, but so undeniably badass. I approve. Let's uh, grab all of these then. Um, there's no point in us selling the rest of that. Is it more go What? Oh, he just woke up. Yeah, you probably should stay down. I feel a little bad for you. I'll be perfectly honest. I feel quite bad, actually. But on the plus side, new pole arm. Not a bad acquisition at all. Oh, there's more stuff going on. Oh, wow, there's been quite a large fight. Oh, these are dust bandits, too. Did the hungry bandits maybe just have a little bit of a squabble with the dust bandits? Uh, that sounds... Pretty good for me, honestly. Uh, again, I'm mostly just focusing on grabbing the the weapons. I don't really care too much for uh, the the other bits and pieces. Though that being said, okay, that's a heavy armor class. It's, uh, how weighty is it? Four kilos. Oh, okay. You've got this. Does not look bad, actually. This definitely looks like something I wouldn't mind taking. Whether or not giving out heavy 
Um, items like that affect the perception skill. I guess that would not be given to an archer. Martial arts bonus minus five. Uh, still, I think they're worth grabbing. I will be back for that, Dust Bandit. Oh yes, I will. Let's get you in here. We'll sell off those weapons quickly. Uh, as we don't want those massive things. Uh, at least not for now. Uh, so business. I would like to sell these. And that should leave me with enough room. Ah. And of course, you've now got a bunch of good stuff in there. Uh, you're going to go down again. I feel bad for you. I truly do. Uh, we would like... Oh, wait. That was the Dust Bandit. Um, can you drop them? Hmm, no, that wasn't. Ah, the, oh, there we are. There's the Dust Bandit. Please and thank you. I will take all of those. Yes, yes. Now, I did come over here for Iron Plate, obviously. But, look, I can't pass up an opportunity to get all my people some more gear. Super, super important. Rukia. Uh, I keep trying to say Rukia. I, I do apologize. And I, I realize staring at my, my uh, webcam is no use when I'm recording for... For YouTube, but uh, yeah, that, look, it, it's just I, I recently was talking about bleach, so Rukia is, is on my mind. But uh, yes, it's Ruka. Ruka must must get that through my skull. Ruka. Now, who's going to be having this wonderful weapon here? It, it's a weighty thing. Uh, the current. I'm going to leave Hobbs with the heavier one. But who would like this one? You've already got a decent one. I'm thinking we're going to sell this, swap that out. So Hobbs, if we can get you over to Ruka, Ruka shall take that wonderful weapon off your hands. Let's get down there. Who's this running up on us? This is an escape servant. That's fine. Uh, no need to sneak anymore. I'm leaving my main gatherers out and about in sneak mode. Hopefully it helps. I'm really not sure if it does or not. I know that you only scale your, you only train your sneak if you happen to have uh, someone moving. Right, let's uh, have a look here then. So, Hobbs, pass that on to Ruka, please. That being said, we've got a lot of gear there that, that someone could make use of. This is better than what you've got. It's stolen from a dust bandit. It's a medium armor class. Um, it weighs six kilos. 413, that is a much better. How much protection? Left leg, right leg, only 60%. This is 100%. So I, I'm in favor of keeping that. You've also got some decent um, armor there as well. As for the head, no, I don't I don't think so. However, you, uh, you've got decent pants, certainly, but you've only got cloth right now. Likewise, Avak has only got cloth. Avak doesn't even have boots. Um... I'm going to say that Avak would do better with those boots. Thankfully, we're all in range of each other. Uh, so, given that, does anyone need a top of a med kit? No, not really. Uh, that's fine, then. Uh, this can go across to Avak. You can pop those on instead. There we are. That can go in your backpack for now. Uh, that's a little bit better. I'm thinking these can go over to Ruka. They're heavy, but it should be fine. Uh, do we have any better gear? This can go across to Manu. There we are. I mean, it's not great. It's only 50% on the chest, and it's, it's not amazing resistance even then. Still, it's better than nothing. And this. Hmm. Perception. Well, I'm going to give that to Ruka as well. There we go, Ruka. Very nicely set up. Ah, we, we've really upgraded our, our gear today. I'm really quite impressed with that. Very, very impressed. You know what, Hobbs? You can now just patrol. Ruka, I'm going to take Avak with you. Uh, in fact, Manu, you're going to be coming as well. I'm going to finally set up a new squad. Let's get everyone up here. We're going to be heading out in a moment. We're going to grab some food to bring with us. Uh, so, we want to set up a new squad. We've got the founders. The founders are just going to become something else now. So, um... Uh, 
for house guards. And then the next squad will be... Uh, no, we'll go with something a little bit more poetic. Voyages. There. So guards and voyages. I think that that is fine. Avak, Ruka, and Manu, you're going to be heading out. Hobbs is definitely one of the stronger um, combatants we have. But I would prefer for us to uh, head out uh, with the the two Shek. Because we're going to be going to Squin. I'm going to go and see if we can't pick up some gear for Hobbs. Ooh, we're starting to run a little bit low on meat. Not liking that at all. Do you not, like, trade with people? Because I've not seen anyone else be given items from Avak's backpack. That's the whole reason I've got Avak with a backpack. So it's a little bit vexing. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've come to uh, trade off some items. Let's go ahead and trade those away. I've got no iron plates here. How many iron plates do we need, Hobbs? Let's have a quick gander at this. We need another three. Oh, really? Well, we can easily grab those from somewhere else, but uh, we've got a lot of cats just burning a hole in our pocket. So, yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode by going out for a little bit of a, a jaunt over to Squin, I think. And that should do us nicely. Right, I want to make sure that you are moving as a group. There we go. All right, and off to Squin we go. I really do want to go over to that tiny settlement, but uh, first and foremost, let's just get things going down here. We, there, there's almost certainly going to be gear uh, that we need in Squin. So we'll head out there. Ah, oh, look at our little ragtag group. This is marvelous. I approve. Let's, have a, let's slow that down a little bit. You're starting to look like you could actually do some damage. You, you certainly don't look like uh, a strong wind would knock you unconscious anymore. You you look like uh, someone might not, like if they were a lone traveler, they might not want to to cross paths with you, perhaps. I mean, if they were like a lone traveler, they're probably a lone traveler for a reason, like they're a badass swordsman, and in which case they don't care. But uh, nevertheless, I think that our, our group is actually starting to to look a little bit more capable, if nothing else. Now, it's going to take us a little while to get down there, so I'm going to bring you back once we're there. And here we are. It's just gone past 6pm on the ninth day as we approach Squint. Uh, yes? What? What outside this? Uh, smuggling checks. Remove your gear, Flatskin. Ah, uh, sure. Here's my gear. Thank you. Uh, let's get inside. There we are. Just make sure everyone's together, though. Okay, right, so we're here for some metal plates primarily, but we'll also check out the... Well, actually, given that we... Oh, that is not a bar. Where are the bars? Uh, that is weapon shop, armor smith, okay. And down hither is one of the bars. Well, just across the way is the, uh, is the merchant area. You know what? It's so tempted to just buy a place down here. There's so much more in Squin than it is in the hub, but at the same time, just being called flat skin all the time. Uh, it's not as not as fun. Uh, right, what just happened there? Did you just steal something? Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to talk with them. I saw something. They maybe they just traded. Excuse me. How's life here? Um, could be worse, I guess. Then could be better too, I guess. Well, we've got a new settlement out of the reach of the Holy Nation and Empire Eyes. Really? Whereabouts? I don't have any such settlement. Not far. It's well protected with food and shelter. New settlers are always welcome. Um, nah, I think I'll stay here for the moment. Good luck with that, though. Okay, so I, I guess that if I actually had an outpost, I could get people to just move in. That's actually kind of awesome. That's really awesome, in fact. So much stuff. All right, looking to trade? Yes, I am. That's the entire point of my visit. Uh, really? I didn't sell that already? Uh... We could pick up a couple more med kits, actually. Uh, right. Well, there's going to be a bunch of things that I'm going to want to learn. And I know that I'm going to want to learn how to how to grow cactus. So I'm going to grab two cactus. I could perhaps grab two hemp as well. Um, primarily, we are here for these. I guess I could grab two hemp, too. Uh, and that would, that would be a, a way for us to kickstart learning 
to to farm certainly uh, one and two I'm afraid I no longer have enough room for these alas uh, actually if I move them over it's just a little bit of Tetris in there we could store some more plates if we really wanted to or I could just grab some extra um, uh, we could get some cotton cotton farming sure I mean hemp and cotton much the same really just one is slightly less legal uh, in certain places I, I think that's that's good enough though we've, we've got a decent yeah. amount there right let's move on to the adventuring shop or rather the survival supplies or whatever it's called um, traveler gear and then we will see about picking up maybe some maps so that in the next episode we can head out to do a little bit of exploration i really had anticipated doing that in this episode but as i mentioned the first couple of episodes will probably be a little bit slower as we just build up our base we've expanded out quite a lot though i'm i'm quite happy with the amount of progress we've made how can i help well first and foremost i might want to purchase one or two more of these um my companions also could probably do with a backpack each uh, yes. Ruka? Uh, maybe. Uh, it seems I can't just slide those up there. Okay. Um, yes, for those times when we want to carry quite a lot of stuff. And then we could grab a couple of these. A map of the border zone. I'm very certain that's where we are. So let's grab the border zone map. Glorious holy map. Tank under library map. Map of the Shank kingdom. We'll also grab that. And the United Cities, the Central Territories. Sure. That's quite a lot of money we've just spent there. And we're going to spend a little bit more in order to get the wheat straw as well. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to, to grow uh, those plants here. Uh, this is quite an arid environment. And for them, cactus is going to be the main thing that we're going to be able to grow. But we may as well grab it, I feel. So, Ruka this time. Could you have a quick chat? Let's have a look. What have you got? I would like to wheat straw. Uh, you can also have this. Uh, we've already got the cotton. We've already got the hemp. There's nothing else of particular value here. Except maybe grab an extra few of these. And Same with Manu. Really? We walked all the way here carrying... Wow. It's amazing, but wow. Uh, I think that's that's it for us. All right, it's time for us to head back then. Pretty happy days. All things considered, we are going to be moving slow as molasses, though. <laughs> yeah, the run speed is only 10 kilometers. Um, I could buy an extra backpack. Let, let's share out some of the weight. So let's give a little bit of this weight. Just share it out just a tad so that we can all move slow as molasses. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. Uh, continue handing this out. There you are, you're down to 10. We've got run speed of 7. You are just able to just keep going. Wow. Okay, you can get a little bit more. 16, right. Let's hand over a bit more. And a bit more. 16, 13, 10. Really? How heavy is the, is the hemp then? Uh, it's 2 kilos. Sure. No room for that. That is a shame. I think perhaps we do need to get you some gear. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, use this. So we've revealed one new location. Way station. Next up. 15. Central territories? Game, your definition of central and mine are pretty different. Really, really different, actually. And finally... Get you. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. We've got a couple nearby. All right, well, we've uh, definitely sorted a couple of things out. Uh, let's shunt these over. There we go. I guess we're just going to be running pretty slowly, and that's just going to be something we're going to have to get used to. How heavy is that? It's only one kilo. In fact, let's move these over. So a little bit of inventory Jenga. And we should be able to get all of this sorted. I could perhaps even move all of that across instead of carrying it myself. Uh, 
but honestly, I think it's just that uh, Avak is not particularly strong. So this is going to be an opportunity for Avak to train up his strength. But I think that's going to be where we're wrapping up this episode, honestly. I really, really hope you've enjoyed. We have made a lot more progress than I was expecting. Like, crazy amounts of progress. We've got two new characters, Manu and Miss Minnie. And we have also built a new... Uh, a new, or rather, rented uh, a new home, which I'm particularly excited for. And when we return in the next episode, we should be getting up the Tech 2 research bench, as well as returning with enough materials to start getting down some farming research as well. We'll be able to start growing our own crops. Again, in this environment, it would probably just be cactus, uh, though I think cotton and hemp might also be okay, but pretty much anything else is going to really struggle in this arid environment. So we'll probably not be uh, growing all of the things. Still, growing some of the things is a big step up from where we where we are right now. But that's going to be it from me. So I really hope you've enjoyed. Do let me know down in the comments below if uh, you have any advice and or if you'd like me to consider your name for future recruit. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, do take care, everyone.